inside of Maya, inside of Maya, you've also got a baking tool. You simply have to go into your upper left corner of Maya and set this to uh, rendering. And you always want to start with the low poly mesh selected. So you go to render, uh, render, where is it? Render using, oh boy, or is it texturing? So I think it's under texturing actually. Nope, lighting and shading, that's where it is. Um, so yeah, under uh, lighting and shading, you want to go to baking, transfer maps, okay? So it's uh, lighting and shading, transfer maps. So Maya does have a built-in tool and it is actually more forgiving than XNormal is. I find uh, if you talk to a lot of people that work in video games specifically, they use XNormal a lot. Why? Because it actually will tell you whether your mesh is screwed up or not, right? And so a lot of game engines can break when there's invalid mesh mesh errors and mesh bugs. So I prefer XNormal because it sort of tells me before I get too deep into production, this might be so screwed up it could destroy a level, could destroy a render, okay? But um, if you want to try another tool, Maya has this tool, the transfer map. So you're going to say normal map, okay? So you want to select normal. It's going to output. So you do have to change your file format type. Remember what I said, right? Uh, we want to choose a format that works. So I tend to prefer TIFF, so I'm going to select a TIFF. Tangent space, again, is almost, for me, the standard I find in most of the maps that I use. Um, and it's going to output to a folder, so you can tell it where to output. So I'm going to select this folder and then set my name. <clears throat> again, I want to make sure it's in TIFF format. So I'm going to double select this as the, the format. <clears throat> um, you can tell it to create a new shader, it'll automatically create a new shader, or you can tell it to use the existing shader. Um, and then we want to actually, there's an option at the top I sort of skipped over, which is to add selected. So right now it's selecting, I, when I selected the low res mesh and then went to transfer maps, it knows that this is my target mesh, meaning that the low res mesh is going to be where the normal maps will be stored. But I now have to select my high poly mesh and add that as the selected reference point um, for the normal map. So I'm going to get out of this and then go into um, bake. Actually, sorry, that's a mistake. I, I, sorry, let me remove the selected. I should have said under source message, not under target. So the source is actually what the high poly, the high poly should be loaded into. So I'm going to say add selected as the, the source for the normal maps to be generated. Okay. So I'll go to bake. It's going to take a moment or two to render this out. And if we take a look at our low poly and set it aside, it generates a result. <laughs> now, uh, not necessarily the best result, so I'm going to undo a bit. So I'll go down into these options. So one of the problems is actually if you take a look at the common output, it's the texture resolution. So that's one problem. The other issue is that we want higher sample quality. So this is under Maya Common. Okay, These are essentially kind of like your render settings renders. So you want this to be 4K, not a super tiny resolution. Um, I think the rest should basically be okay. And I can double check my advanced options. I think this is okay as well. So I'm going to hit Bake. This time it'll render back out. <clears throat> it will take a, a little bit longer just because the resolution is so much higher. So I'm going to pause the recording. Okay, so this, you know, Maya is a little more particular about how it sets this up. Uh, okay, so remember what I said before in the, I guess, the other recording that I have. Um, there may be an issue as well because of the, uh, the map, the way it's set up. So if I go back and check the, the material here, and I usually prefer this to be in Blin, uh, but if I go into this map, you want to double check that this is actually in RAW. So it will actually show up better. But there still may be some, you know, issues of occlusion if you've got some complex overlapping pieces that aren't fully represented. So I do find XNormal is better at handling complex overlapping parts than Maya is. Um, so, you know, you'll have to kind of test your results and see which you prefer. But my preference, generally speaking, is uh, to use XNormal. But, you know, on simpler objects, this works fine, uh, the Maya baking tool. Also, uh, just to mention, my sample quality is really, really high. Uh, for preview purposes, this is fine, but you probably want to be at least at medium and maybe high, but it will take a much longer time to render. Like I said, my preference is still for X normal for uh, baking stuff out from Maya.